Hi, welcome to SBF Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Doug Upstone. It's NFL Week 6, and we're going to do our weekly spot to false favorites and uh, live hot dogs. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Peter, glad to be back here once again. And yeah, just uh, not quite so good last week. One and two, not thrilled about that. But hey, you know what? We're going to bounce back this week uh, in style. All right, well, let's see what you have for us. First false favorite of the week. The first false favorite is the Cleveland Browns oh. in this case. Now, the Browns opened at, at a pick uh, and went to minus two. And while I really admire how they're playing hard, uh, on coach, their four games have been decided by eight total points. I just don't think that in, in this particular game, that this team really plays all that well all the way through the game, which you certainly don't see with uh, with Pittsburgh. Now, I, what I like about this and what I like about Pittsburgh in this case is their defense is starting to come around. Uh, they're starting to slow the opponents down, especially on the ground. I think giving up like 56 yards per game in their last three. And Brian Hoyer, great job, like what they do. But this team overall, Cleveland has a problem with Pittsburgh, and the problem is they can't win. Uh, in the uh, last 41 games, Pittsburgh is 34 and seven straight up, and they're 14 and five at Cleveland. I think in this case, the money went the wrong way, and Cleveland is a false favorite, Peter. All right, Doug Upstone, this is a tricky one. You know, I admit that I was at very tempted to uh, to take Cleveland at first, and I did bet them at minus two uh, uh, earlier in the week. But uh, you might be right. It just seems like maybe they're a different kind of team. Maybe Pittsburgh is having some problems. But uh, you know, absolutely, this is this is a tricky one. It's a tough one. You might be right, false favorite. All right, what's your uh, second false favorite or live dog for us this week, Doug Upstone? My second false favorite, Peter, is on Seattle. And, you know, it's not really a, a big false favorite in this case. I just think the, the line at minus eight is a little bit high because I look at Dallas. You know, this team is you know really playing well. Now, it's early, and we all know that Dallas, typically the collapse comes later. But, you know, they're a little bit different group. They're not as dependent on Tony Romo. Their offensive line is absolutely the best in the NFL, and it should be a really interesting matchup with their number two run offense going against Seattle's number one uh, run defense. The one thing that I really like, though, about uh, Dallas in this case is that, you know, this, the vaunted Seattle secondary has given up some big plays. And when you have, uh, you know, uh, guys like Terrence Williams and Des Bryant able to go deep and make a house call into the end zone, I, I can see that happening with this team and Dallas keeping it close. Hey, I, I think Seattle's a terrific team. They're doing, they've done everything, you know, that they need to do so far early in the season. I just think this game's going to be under a touchdown. Seattle winning, no surprise, closer than what the line says. All right, interesting that you would choose Seattle at home to be a, a false favorite. Uh, I can certainly see your case, though. I think I might be liking or maybe even super loving the under 47 in this one, uh, but uh, we'll see. All right, what's your uh, third uh, false favorite or live dog for us this week, Doug Upstone? Well, our live dog this week, Peter, is a, a little bit unusual because we don't even have a line on this game yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's, we got Jacksonville, you know, and Jacksonville, you know, no matter what, they're going to be an underdog whether Jake Locker plays or not at Tennessee. It, well, for the second straight year, the Jaguars have opened 0-5 straight up at ATS, and they'll probably win a game this year, Peter, but for sure they'll cover a spread, and I think this is a good spot for them. Traditionally, they have played well against Tennessee, kept the games close, uh, and, and offensively, I think they can do enough. I'm, I'm not sure what the quarterback situation is going to be for Tennessee, who is coming off the, the worst loss by a home team in terms of a team coming back against them. So mentally, that's got to be tough. And Jacksonville is 5-1-1 one one against the spread against Tennessee. I'll take a hunch, or I'll play a hunch, rather, on Jacksonville plus the points, whatever they happen to be, in this game. One of these days, uh, the Jags are going to be a, a good bet on their on one of their big underdog lines. This could be uh, the week. We'll see where this line uh, comes out. All right, thanks so much, Doug Upson, for all your thoughts. As always, talk to you next week. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.